welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. He's holding the boxes because I will be playing solo again in Terraforming Mars with Turmoil. Well, with all the expansions in there actually. Been a long while since I did this. Uh, I was back in the winter sometime. I did this when this came out. It was so fun. It was so exciting. But then I've just been flocked with all the games I needed to film or wanted to film. So yeah. Time has been running away and it's been a while, so I'm sorry for that, but we'll finally be back with the second solo playthrough. So we'll, you know, we'll try to, I'm going to try to work my way through. It's going to be eight in total, of course, since there's eight new corporations that came with Turmoil. So we are going to get started. Now, if you are, don't want to see the setup and all that, uh, there will be a link down in the description so you can jump right to when the gameplay starts because I will go through the setup as I usually do in my solo playthroughs. And I should also mention that there is a few things out here that look different from last time. So first of all, I do have these 3D printed, uh, painted by my friend Martin. Really nice looking uh, pieces. So this is the first time actually that I will be playing the game using these. If you want to check them out more, there will be a link to Board Game Essentials web shop in the description as well. So you can check that out later on. And there's a lot of them out here. There's a lot of tiles and so on. Another thing is I am using the E-Raptors Terraforming Mars uh, insert that has, you know, it keeps all the expansions as well. So we have this little thing here and we have this one. And if you want to check out the insert more, there's a link down in the description for that as well. <laughs> there's so many links. Anyway, I just want to get, you know, I want to get that straight before we get started. And I also have these lovely overlays, of course, from the same web shop that makes these. So let's get started now. And we are going to start off as we usually do. We're going to draw, put out these first cities and greeneries, get that out of the way. And I am going to draw a card from up here and it's going to be uh, number three. So that means this goes up here. And I do, you know, I like playing on the Elysium map as well to get some variation. Then for four, as Venus Governor, very cool card. But that is going to be the greenery. So that is going to be one, two, three, four. And then we look at the bottom one for 18. So that's three, five, eight, 10, 11, 12, 15, 18. It's all the way over there. And the greenery will be number one, market manipulation. Okay, that's so going to be up here. So that is the starting um, as we have it out here. And yeah, I already like these 3D tiles. They look nice out there. So let's discard these ones here. And I think it's time to start with all of this, you know, corporations and all that. It, uh, you can do this in any order, I guess. But I'd like to start with the corporation. So I am going to draw two, pick one. And uh, see what we get here. So we can choose between Septem Tribus, I think it's called, uh, <laughs> pronounced, starting with 36 credits. When we perform an action, the wild tag counts as a tag. Yeah, there's a wild tag over there. And this is the one where the action is gain two credits for each party where you have at least one delegate. So if we go for this one, we want to spread out and be in many parties. So we, this would make profit. Or we can go for price star, 53 starting credits, uh, minus two in TR though. Then we get one VP per preservation resource on this card at the end. And the effect is during production phase, if we did not get the TR so far this generation, we get one pres preservation token resource here and gain six credits. So every every generation that we do not terraform, we're going to make a point in and six money instead. Mm. We'll see. We'll see what uh, we don't need to decide right now. We'll keep going here with the prelude. So. I mean, all the expansions in here is fun, but it also a bit is a bit scary. It's a bit, uh, it, you know, it's it's a full day's investment for me to film and uh, and edit. It's the uh, editing that takes the most time. So four reload cards, and we have Mohol. So three heat production, three heat, experimental forest. 
place a greenier tile and increase oxygen one step reveal cards until we found two plant tag cards that we get into our hand discard the rest self-sufficient settlement place a city increase our money production two steps and uh, there's uh, steven bonacore <laughs> the eccentric sponsor play your card from your hand reducing the cost by 25 this is a good one and i kind of like the mohole as well we'll see here what we get in terms of cards but first we are going to do colonies and colonies we'll just pull four out here hope we get some good ones this time i remember it's been a while but i remember not being happy with the ones i got in my first uh, solo playthrough here so miranda that was that was one of those that i didn't like uh pluto i got that last time as well and Cletus, and Tritons are almost the same. That's crazy. Almost the same as I had in the last one. I definitely want Triton because I want a way to get resources, right? So, the Triton it is. And it is going to start there. Then the question is I think we'll go for Pluto as well. Question is should I give. Yeah, I think it's kind of. I think again, I think Miranda is the weakest one because it's so situational it does this doesn't really help much with terraforming at all uh, and Cletus does could help with terraforming with the microbes so i think i you know as i usually do in my solo playthroughs i am you know first and foremost trying to complete the game trying to win the game terraform everything uh if i get a good score that's fun as well but that's not the main goal so okay we've chosen those i'm happy with that let's look at 10 cards so let's pull out here and get 10 cards. So, geothermal power. You like that, getting some energy early. Research colony. Uh, place a colony. And yeah, that's pretty cool. That is especially good if we go heavy into colonies because we can place it where we already have a colony and draw two cards. So, we could go, I mean, we could double down on Triton, for example. That could be interesting. Standard technology is an awesome card in the solar game. Definitely want that. Mining area, it's a good one as well. Get some production. And this is the one. Yeah, this one has to be adjacent to one of our tiles. So we can't play that right away though. Lightning harvest mm, needs some science tags. Capital is pretty cool. Cool big white piece over there. But I don't know. I don't think that's good for a starting hand. Uh, oh, I got too many cards, I think. Yeah, six. Okay, so I'm going to remove one here. Um, then we have Galilean Way Station. Jovian Tags in play. That's a good multiplayer card it's if someone is doing a lot of Jovians. Rockside Power is also a way to get energy. So that is interesting, especially if we want to trade aerial mappers is, let's see, add a floater to any card or spend a floater here to draw a card. So that's drawing a card uh, every two generations. I don't know if it's worth 11. Minority Refuge. Add, oh, this is also placing a colony. And decreasing money production by two. Now we already start. I'm going to pull this one up here. I'm going to do it this way this time. It's going to be up here all the time uh, in the corner and i hope that's better because i've been watching my own solo playthrough number one and i felt like it, it, it's another mo thing i need to think of when i do the playthrough that i have to switch back and forth and you know i i tend to not do that as much as i should because it is a bit annoying for me there's so much to keep track of here anyway uh and i'm sure to be making some mistakes by the way if i do you know, click on subtitles, I will have those there. Tell me in the comment section down here if you see spot any errors and I'll put them into Klingon subtitles so other people can see the errors. So, all right, so mining area, I do like that one. I think I will go for, I mean, getting two colonies on Triton, for example, that means, I mean, the bonus is one titanium. So that means well, I would get six titanium in total by just placing the colonies. That every time I travel here, I would get at least three. So that is a good thing. I think I like, yeah, I like the idea of having a double on Triton. 
which means I'll go for Minority Refuge. And yeah, that's the thing I was going to say. I am starting on minus two here. I don't remember which one is which. I think that's because of Colonies. Uh, going to, uh, we only have 12 generations. I think that's because of Prelude. And yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> and we have to do Venus, of course, as well. So yeah, minor, I think I will go for this. I'll definitely take Standard Technology. I think I will go for these two. Um, oh... Well, I'm not going to do that. Three science tags. I'm not going to do that one. I will. Yeah, I'm going to go for these two. So I go up to four energy production because then we can use energy to just fly and get titanium. So that's like, yeah, I think that's good. And I'll get rid of this one because Jovians, who knows. But I'll keep research colony because that's going to be nice. That's going to be a second colony on Triton. And I'll get rid of capital. So that means I would have five cards. I think that's decent. Starting with five cards. And now the next question is, what do I get in terms of... This is a way to get some more money. Uh, this one is also a way to get more money. This starts minus two on TR though. But we get more money in the start. I don't really care about the points here, but... It is going to give us six credits every time we don't terraform. I do think we are going to terraform most of the time though. So I, I think this is a little bit weaker in a solo game, in a multiplayer game. You don't really need to terraform all the time. Uh, so yeah, I am going to go with Septum Tribus. So let's put that one back and let's see a prelude. What do we want here? Uh, let's see, play a card from hand, reducing its cost by 25. Oh, I didn't think about that. Wait, let's look at the cards again then. Did we have any? We had capital at 24, uh, 26, but you know, it takes four oceans. So yeah, we didn't really get a good starting hand for this. We could play research colony for free if we take this. It would be 20. The problem is that the really good thing here is that we can place a colony where we already have a colony. That is a bit... In that case, I don't think I will go for this. Instead, we are going to need more money production because we're going to lower money production by playing Minority Refuge. And I do like the idea of having uh, more heat. So let's, let's go with uh, Self-Sufficient Settlement and Mohole. There we go. Wow, it's always hard to do, make these decisions in this game. But so we have our corporation down here. I am going to try to find a good angle where you can see everything you need to see. So you can see this over here. You can see the corp. I'll build out like this. We also have over here, by the way, the turmoil board has the whole parliament thing here in 3D, which is kind of cool as well. And we'll do the setup for that in just a minute here. So that is... We're going to start with 36. I'm going to put a little cube here just to remind myself that I can do this action. So we get three heat production. We get uh, three heat as well. I hope you can see this good here. It's the first time I'm trying this, but I think so. Then we are going to get uh, two. We'll go back to zero in money. And we can slide these up here just for the tags. We have our hand of cards. And let's see here. We're also going to get five. So that's 15. We're going to get 21 credits to start off. And we have a way to generate credits pretty much right away. We have the free guy here. And I think we're going to invest in the first generation in at least one more guy here. So we can start using this getting or back and so yeah we'll see how that goes so we just need to do the turmoil setup and then we're ready to go so in here we are going to go through this we already put the little guy there in the seat so we're going to draw an event and it is increased interplanetary trade we see flourishing commerce uh, commerce in the solar system but solar flares pose a constant threat to all space infrastructure and our models predict a major outburst in our lifetime it's going to be a solar flare. We're going to lose three credits for each space tag. Maximum of five, then reduced by influence. That's not that great. I was planning to 
play at least once, maybe two space tags before this will hit. So that it's not great. Okay, well, it's going to go out here and we are going to put a guy into unity. He's going to be the party leader right away. Because he's the only one there. And that was the first one. And then the second one here, the distant one, is going to be Martian protectionist. High tariffs and bureaucracy on Mars make Venus look more attractive for big corporate investments. Venus infrastructure. We're going to get two credits per Venus tag. And we're going to put a guy into Mars first. He will become the party leader there. And okay. So, hmm, ah, I don't know. We didn't have any Venus tags, but we, this is going to take... A little while before it happens we'll see how that goes but i think that's everything for the turmoil setup i hope i haven't forgotten anything it's been a while since i played with turmoil but i think this is cool this is the thing you do you put these guys out here you have the events and i think we're ready to start playing actually so uh, let's get going okay so we talked about it before it's very easy to do mistakes first of all enclados shouldn't even be here it's not active until we have somewhere to collect these microbes second of all Self-sufficient settlement should let us place a city, right? Because, you know, otherwise it would be a pretty bad prelude card. So we are going to place a city before we start playing. Yeah. All right. And I also have my little ship out here that is ready. This is the freighter mode. And I'm ready to go. Uh, I was only going to say sailing, but space sailing. Okay. So let's place the city first of all. Now I am thinking that to start off. If we look at the cart, I'm thinking that it would be nice to have some steel. So I'm kind of interested in getting some steel here early on. And in that case, I would have to go down here. Now, there is an argument to be made to go over here to get plants. But we don't have any plants anyway in the start here. So I think steel is better and we'll probably get more cities and so on as we go. So we're going to go right here where we have some you know, space around it that we can build on. So that is going to get us two steel. I think that is a good choice. So let's put these up there. And so we are ready to start playing and I always get this feeling that I forgot something which I did obviously over here But let's let's start and I hope I haven't forgotten anything So do we want to go for my own minority refuge right away? I don't know standard technology. is not not a rush with I do like the idea of getting these these going because then we can Fly to Triton on generation number two and before that we want to build the colonies so that we get a bunch of titanium so maybe, let's see, this would be 18 plus 5, 23 minus 4, 19. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. A lot of math in this game, but I like that, you know. So let's start off with Minority Refuge. Now there is a downside to playing this because it does have a space tag. The event down here, it, we're going to lose my uh, three credits for that. But we will, low, you know, if we get some influence by then, it's going to be fine anyway. So that's my plan, hopefully. So let's play this one, and it is going to cost us five. And it is going to lower our money production, though, by two. That's not that great. But we get to place a colony, and we are going to place it over here. And that's going to get us three titanium. Then next step, I think, is to do the turmoil part. So let's send out our free guy. And by the way, another thing I forgot, I see it now. Dominance cube. The first one we put down, which was unity, should have be the dominant party. Sadly though, I mean, this doesn't really fit. But this should be something with the 3D thing here. But anyway, that's how it goes. So do we want to... I don't think we want to have unity we have some building tags we are planning to build two more building tags i think it makes sense to go into mars first the only problem is to become the party leader we would have to go there twice and if we go twice that kind of counterfeits our corporation which likes us to spread out we could just go with one guy here i am going to do that that will shift the dominance over here so we will get some money for that. But we're not going to be party leader, leader, which means we're not going to be chairman, which means we're going to lose a TR. So it would be nice to be, be that. But is it worth five credits? 
Um, because that will also get us... Well, influence doesn't matter now, because nothing will happen in this event phase. But, yeah. I think, though, that... Because we will be... Let's see. This will... At the start of next generation, or at the end of this generation, this will shift over here. And we will become party leader. We will be party leader when the global event hits in the second. Yeah, that's still good because we will still have that influence. I really have to think this through because I'm not that used to turmoil actually. So, okay, I think that is a good idea then. So let's spend five more money to go in here, even though it goes a little bit against our corporation, but I still think it's a good idea. We will kick this guy out. Well, not out, but he will become a delegate. Dead. Like that. It's a bit fiddly, but it's cool with this 3D. And yeah, I think that's what we're doing here. Now we'll do our corporation ability, which will get us two credits. Because we're only in one party. And I don't think it's worth paying five more to go more into that right now. We will get a free one on the next generation as well, right? Then we are going to do... Peroxide power that is going to cost us seven, but we'll pay four in steel plus three. So we'll get seven back. And again, this is this terrible. We're down to minus three here, but we do get two energy production. That's good. Then we'll do geothermal power. So that's eleven. And we have 10. Okay, so I miscalculated that. Ouch, ouch. Yeah, it's because of this. It's because I changed. I was thinking to, to go to two different parties and get four credits from this. And now I only got two. So maybe that wasn't too smart. And if we don't get this into... Wow, I, I already backed myself into a corner here. If we don't get this into play now then we don't have three entities. We can't go to Triton on the next generation, like I planned, build this, and go there. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. Because we can build this if we don't buy any cards. Wow, this is so tight. No, we can't because we will lose three. Oh, this is so tight. We'll have to postpone Triton a little bit. So then it doesn't really matter that we can't build this right now, okay. So I don't think we can do much about that. I, I don't think that was the perfect play idea there, but I, I am going to make a bunch of tactical mistakes during this. So I'll, let's get used to it. Let's end generation number one. And as we do, uh, I would try to do that so that you can see this cute little generation marker. So that's going to go uh, to number two. But let's do all the um, thingies here first. We're going to start off with production, right? So in the production, we are going to get 14 minus 3, we're going to get 11. Wow, we are so poor. This is terrible uh, with the money situation. But it is what it is. Then we are going to get 2 energy, which is a bit of a misplay. Then we'll get 3 heat. So, okay, that's about it. Not much else happening here. So that was it. Now we are going to do the whole solar phase. So we're going to do world government. And I think world government is going to do oxygen. Just my gut feeling to go with oxygen if I'm unsure. Because it's the most expensive one in terms of standard projects as well, right? Then we'll do the whole... Uh, what's it called? Oh, we'll do col colonies. We'll just you know push these up a little bit. I think it's the whole thing is just called solar face, but it's just, it just they just added more and more stuff into it. And then we are going to do the this fun part here, which is uh, it's a bit fiddly, but we'll get into it. We'll take it slow in the start here, and then I'll get into it as we go. So we're going to lose the TR first of all, lovely. And by the way, we are using this little guy as the TR marker. We're down to 13. <laughs> we're going to do the global event, but there's no global event right now. Uh, dominant party becomes ruling, so we are going to change the policy tiles. So now we're going to get uh, this one here. So whenever we place a tile, we get a steel. Don't think that's going to happen though, we'll see. 
Then we are going to perform the ruling bonus, which is a credit per building tag. And we have three now because again, I messed up with not being able to play the third one. So yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get three credits at least. Then we are going to move the old chairman, all delegates from the dominant party to reserves. So this goes away. That jumps up. Well, it's not him, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it jumps up there and it goes over there. That goes there. We're going to refill the lobby. Do that out of order, though. This will shift over here. And yeah, we're going to earn a TR as well, right? Yeah, so we'll go back up to 14. And then we do changing times. So we're gonna move this over here, and that means, let's see, covering the old, add, yeah, so now we're gonna add a neutral delegate into Kelvinists. He will become party leader. Then we are going to move the distant over there, and we're gonna pull out a new one, and it is Joey and Colony Boom. Colonists flee from the heavy taxation on Earth and Mars to seek a new life beyond the asteroid belt. Joey and tax rights. Increase money production one step for each colony. Oh, that's pretty cool. Because we're going to have two when this happens. And we get one titanium for each influence. So yeah, that's a good one. I like these positive ones. <laughs> I need those. All right. And we're going to add the top there. So one guy will go into scientists. And again, party leader right away, right? So there we go. I can fit him in the chair. So yeah, I, I, I don't know if this is really that practical but it, it looks cool okay so that's done then we are going to head into generation number two so we'll move this up and we are going to get four new cards and i haven't prepared any stacks i do recommend that you do that but this takes up so much space that i didn't know where to put them uh instead i have the huge stack there but yeah so we have strip mine awesome card to get this early i think uh, we do have energy we can lower later on here. I mean, we don't can't afford it right now anyway. But getting that oxygen. Ban delegate. Uh, remove any non-leader delegate if we are the chairman. This I guess this is pretty much useless in solo. There could be a situation where we want to get rid of one of the, the neutral guys, I guess. But restricted area. Uh, it's nice for drawing cards and placing a tile. And magnetic field generators, that is very expensive in terms of energy. We do get three TR. I think the only one we are going to get is strip mine. That's the only one that I can see us using here later on in the future and, and making it worth picking up this early. So let's pay three credits and add that to our hand. And let's start playing. So we have. 21. We have some titanium. I definitely want to get. I definitely want to get this one out. And yeah, it, this should be reset as well. I mean, we could get some money. I mean, we could actually play strip mine. Wow, that would be probably be smart because we will start making both titanium and steel this early generation number two. That actually makes more sense than to aim for this. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, I wasn't planning for it, but let's do it. It does make sense. And I, was, I wasn't thinking that we could do it. But we're going to no, we're going to be short anyway. So we place one guy here, we do this, we get two credits. Then we're up to 23, so we're going to be two money short for this anyway. Otherwise, I think it would have been nice. I think we should invest in an infrastructure for this, though. Because that's going to pay off in the long run. We want to put guys into parties that are not going to become ruling, so they don't go away. <sighs> wow. Yeah, okay, so we'll have to stick with the first strategy anyway. There's so many choices here. I... <laughs> So hard to know if I'm doing the right thing or not. It is so hard. Okay. I also think we should maybe just realized for the oh, be clearing here. We should do have it like that so you can see that we can do the city there. I know it, but yeah, we ha we have all the 
standard prod is showing. Okay, so let's do this for free. And this time, I think we don't want to go because if we go into Unity now, we are going to. Well, we're going to lose the guy pretty much where anywhere we go, right? Well, not Morse first or Reds. I mean, we could go into. We could go into like scientists or Calvinists and just make them dominant. And I think, well, the only one that makes sense then is Calvinist because that would give us three credits because we have three heat production. I, I would like to have Morse first again, but that's not going to happen as it looks. So let's go into Calvinist with this free one. And then we are going to spend five. I think we need to, considering our corporation, we need to invest in this. And we'll put this guy into Morse first, and that's going to pay off later on. Then we'll do this action and we'll get four credits back. So it was almost free, right? Sort of. So then we're back to 20 credits. I mean, we could do this. But I rather, well, we're going to get to draw two cards. That's pretty good as well. The problem with doing this now is that we can't fly there anyway and we're going to lose three for each. So, yeah, we don't want... Well, right now... Yeah, we only have one influence. We're only going to have one... Inf no, we're going to have one more. Because this became the dominant party. We have two influence. So we could have another space tag out and not lose any money, actually. Could do it. Okay, so let's go for that. It's nice drawing cards as well. So let's pay... We're gonna pay with titanium, of course. So let's pay uh, nine over here plus eleven. And wow, well, I don't know if this is the right call. But we'll do it anyway. So that gives us colony, and it can be in the same place where we already have one, which is nice, of course. So triton, and we get three more titanium, so we get those back. Well. And we get to draw two cards, so let's hope we find something. Carbonate processing. Oh, this is perfect considering the Kelvinist, right? That is perfect because we can we can lower our energy production one step because we will raise it to next generation. So we have three so that we can start visiting Triton. Okay, then nuclear zone is pretty good as well here. Uh, placing a tile and this is a wash, but getting, yeah. Okay, so I like those two cards. Those were actually lucky cards that we found. So let's play Carbonate Processor then. Four six. Because then we will, yeah, that actually works out nicely. We'll lower energy by one and we'll reach this over to six, a six heat production. And I think that's it, right? We have three more credits. But yeah, I like the cards that we have. We just need to have the funds to actually play them as well. So let's end the second generation. And we are going to start off with production, as you should. So we're going to get uh, 11 again. Need to find a way to get our money production up. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do some. Uh, these will pass over there. And uh, we're going to be able to raise temperatures. So that's some TR at least. Get one energy and we get six more heat. I like that. At least a TR next turn, next uh, generation. Then world government will just keep doing oxygen. Doesn't look like we will have much of plants and so on in this game, so far at least. Then let's do colonies. So Pluto goes up, Triton goes up. So now we're getting four when we fly there. It's not bad. So two plus the two colony bonuses. And then let's do, uh, let's remove that little cube and let's do the turmoil part. And we're going to do this. We're going to lose a TR down to 13. The global event will happen. So we'll lose three money for each space tag. We have two, but we have two influence as well. So we're not going to bother with that. We, uh, we don't care about that. Then we are going to do the new government. So the 
Dominant party becomes ruling, change policy tiles. So we're going to go into Calvinists instead here. And that action is pretty cool, actually, if we do that. So uh, we'll do the bonus, which is one money per fraction. And we have, well, up there, we have six. So that's six more money. That's actually really good. I'm really happy. We got lucky there. We're just drawing that card with the heat production. We needed that. We needed some luck to keep us going. So now we have 20 credits at least. Then we are going to have a new airman. And sadly, it isn't us. So we're not going to get anything for that. This will go over there. And then we'll refill the lobby. Then we have changing times. So we'll move the. Uh, this one coming goes to the current, yeah. And that will add a uh, unity. Okay, so unity is pretty much secured now to be the next one, which is not that great for us. We don't have those tags at all. But okay, then this will move over here and we'll reveal a new one, which is rising alloy demand. The building boom on Mars and elsewhere is at an all time high. Mining in the outer solar system is a profitable business, but it's difficult to make it safe and sustainable. Miners will go on strike. Lose a titanium for each Jovian tag. We don't have any, so we probably will just avoid that, I guess. All right, so that was the terminal. It's not that uh, tricky, actually, once you do it a few times. So now we are going to go into generation number three, and we'll pick up four new cards. So let's check them out. We have small asteroid, the promo. Pretty good. We have some titanium. We are going to get more titanium as you know. Urge. Oh, I don't even want to look at that. That's a late game and it's all about points. Beam from a Torium asteroid is kind of cool, but it requires a Jovian tag, which we do not have, right? We don't have any Jovians in our hand either. No, we don't. I don't think that's an option. Well, there's the Jovian though, Miranda Resort, but that's increasing our pro uh, money production for each Earth tag we have. And, well, Nuclear Zone is one, but I mean, if we're gonna go into this, we would have to get both Miranda and this a sort of play. That is 40, 44 credits in total. Yeah, this doesn't work out at all. I think we'll just take the small asteroid. I think that makes sense. Or we could just keep taking caution. Let's see, how much money do we need this generation? We're gonna get some money from our corporation. Um, in a way, I would like to do strip mine, but I need to start flying here to get that. As I invested in colonies here, which makes doesn't make sense to lower the energy. So we'll probably do we'll probably do nuclear zone and geothermal. So that's twenty one. But we're gonna so 21 we have 20 so we would have 18 we'll get money from this so yeah let's take my uh, let's take a small asteroid for three and let's get into generation number two okay so ready to go we start off with it doesn't matter really oh we could do small yeah okay okay could have done small asteroid it only costs us one because we have the titanium but let's start off with geothermal power. It's been a long time coming. So that is 11. And that gives us two. So finally we will be able to start flying around. Now these go up slow anyway, so it's not like... I mean, we're going to get to titanium soon anyway, right? Yeah. Then let's do the uh, turmoil thing. I like to do this first because, you know, having that money. So we're going to send our free guy over somewhere. Uh, Unity, we can't even do anything about that. If we go into Mars first. Oh, oh he should be party leader, by the way. I don't know why I put him there. <laughs> when I put him in here, he should have become party leader right away. Hasn't affected anything, but there we go. It's so tricky. So instead, I think we'll go into Kelvinists again. Because at some point here in the future, I do want Kelvinists to become ruling because that is a good bonus for us since we have heat production. That action is not bad either, but I don't think we can afford it. Okay, so that was the free guy. Now, should we do another one? Hmm. 
If we do another one, we'll pay five, we'll get six, but it's still gonna cost us three in, you know, in, in a way. So a small asteroid can happen. Hmm, so the, the right now this gives us four. That brings us up to 10. So we could do nuclear zone. But then we don't have enough for small asteroid. Oh wow, it's so tight right now. We're so low on money. This game is so hard right now. But I like it. <laughs> so, so if we go, if we want to do nuclear zone, which would be nice. We can place a tile, but there's no way to get money from that tile because there's no water out. I mean, that could give us new cards, and then we could set. Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll do it that way. So we'll do this action. We're not going to invest. We're not going to invest in more people here because these two will stay. So next time we might have three or four. Try to build up slow. I guess you know this. This does make sense. But so that gives us four credits anyway. I mean. Yeah. Okay, so we have 10. Then we'll do, we'll use those 10 to do nuclear zone. I think this will work out actually, we'll see. And I love having this piece by the way, it's so nice to have everything in there. Uh, even in solo, it's, I mean especially in a multiplayer game, that would be awesome, just pass this around. But okay, so nuclear zone. Got a new row here, and we are going to get two temperature races. So finally, some TR, and we're going to put out that tile. And well, this one is not that hard to find because it's this huge piece. Some of these could be a bit tricky to find. I think later on we'll see. Uh, we'll have to put a cube up there. That that looks weird, I think, but that's how it's designed. And what I'm thinking is we'll go up to Olympus Mons here, where we will get three cards. Because that is a sort of desperate way to get money. And we do, you know, new cards is always good. Way power, it is not bad, but it takes three oceans. Research outpost, ooh, this is awesome. Getting a discount on all the cards. And we get to place a city. Okay, I definitely want to play this as soon as possible. And underground detonations. Not a bad card, I mean, for the heat, but I just don't see how we're going to afford that. But, okay, so we have those three. We are going to sell wave power right away, because it doesn't make sense to keep that, which means we'll get one credit. And we'll put these in here, not that I really know how we're going to afford them, but at some point we will have to get a better economy, right? So now we'll play small asteroid, we'll pay nine in titanium, plus one. That will get us up here, it gets us another TR and a heat production. So we're up to seven. And there's no plans to remove, and we'll just put this under our corp. And I think that was pretty good. We got a few, we got a few cards played at least. We got a new good one that I think we will play right away next generation if we can. I don't think we can. We don't have that kind of money. Okay. Wow, so I think that was it. I think that was generation number two. It's fairly quick. So what we'll do now is we'll do production. So we go we're again. Now we are up to 16. So we go. We get 13. Wow, 13 credits. It's almost like a normal game. Start off. Uh, then we do this goes over. No, 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 no. Stupid, I forgot about this. Of course we would raise temperature with these. I'm just going to do it right away. Wow. Almost missed it. Okay, so we actually get 14 credits. We have one more uh, TR. Wow, oh, it's because it's over there. I didn't look at it. <laughs> so, so now this moves over there. We're going to get three more energy, which we will use as fuel to go into space. And we're going to get seven more. This is going to be nice. We're almost at the point here uh, where we can do two, two uh, there. Okay, so that's everything here. We really need to play strip mine to get some materials production. World government, keep doing oxygen. We'll raise these. Pluto goes up. Pluto will be nice to fly to later on here. Get a bunch of cards. And this will be nice. This is up to five for us now. Five titanium when we go there, which we will do. We'll remove this little cube here. So our action is ready again. And we go to turmoil part. Uh, so on. So we lose the TR, sadly. 
the global event will give us two money for every uh, Venus tag. We don't have any Venus tags, sadly. Then let's see here. We're going to do this in order again. Dominant party becomes ruling. So yeah, he's just going to stay there. We don't need to switch that guy out. These will just be removed. Dominance will flip over there. The bonus does... Oh, we actually have one Earth tag. <laughs> so we, we do get one ready. Wow. Okay. And then we will... Uh, we do the TR and remove those. And we refill the lobby. And we do the events. So... We move this over here. Unity gets a new party leader. And I'm starting to think that this is too fiddly for a playthrough. But anyway, then we move this. And we have Mohole Lake. Drilling moholes and flooding them enables ac access to liquid water. But evaporation will cause an increase of snow and glaciers that will increase the albedo of Mars and having a cooling effect. No, this is going to de decrease temperature. That's terrible. <laughs> That's so terrible. Uh, Kilvinist will get a neutral delegate though, which means it will become uh, the dominant, which I don't mind because, you know, we do get some money from that uh, heat production. I, it's sad though that we lose. Well, this guy will become part of the um, chairman, so that's good as well. Yeah, that's actually a good one. But uh, wow, this is terrible. <sighs> I mean, this game is hard anyway, right? And then events on top of that. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's everything. I always have this feeling in my back of my mind that I'm forgetting something, but I don't think so. If I did, tell me in the comment section. So we move into generation number four. We get four new cards. And I am hesitant to buy that many cards. Now we'll see what we get. Industrial microbes, that is good though. To get some steel production, wouldn't be bad. Our degrees. Uh, microbes. This is just for points, but I mean, we could go to Enclidus. Interplanetary colony ship placing a colony. Well, I guess that would be on Pluto. Mm, I'm not, I think we already have two colonies. By the way, at the end of this generation, we will get uh, two money production because we have two colonies, so that's cool. And water to Venus, racing Venus in a cheap way, I guess. But we only have 15 credits. I really would like to do research outposts. Which we can do because we can do our corporate. I don't think we should buy any cards. I don't think we should buy any cards. Now, when we buy cards, we have to plan for this as well. We are going to start getting titanium that way. So, I mean, we could... Okay, let's do the math. So this would cost this would be free to play because we will have we will have five titanium during this generation. So that we can play this without spending credits. But it costs us three to get it, which means we would be down to twelve. And this will get us six. So we're up that means we have eighteen, which is exactly what we need for research outposts. Okay, so we can do it. So let's get water to Venus. We we need to do Venus as well at some point, right? So let's pay three for that card. You have to do the math at this level of play in this game because, you know, there's so... Yeah, as you saw there early, I did a mistake of one credit and that messed me up in the beginning. But yeah, it, I don't really care about that we got delayed in flying here because it just builds up. Nobody else takes it, right? Which is what I like with the solo game. Nobody interferes with colonies. So we have to do this in the right order though. Let's uh, start off by doing uh, the colonies and all, uh, not the colonies, the turmoil and all that. The free delegate, where do we send him? It has to be to another party that is we don't uh, have already. And that it could have a large effect later on. I mean, I would like to go into Mars first and all, but then he's not in another party. So instead, Maybe we'll just do, I mean, this will, this effect gives us a TR. So if we're below 20, which we will be for quite a while. 
Well, not that long. We are going to get two TR this generation, I think. But then we're going to lose, and then we're going to get back. Hmm. Yeah, let's go into the reds. If, if, there's a, if there ever is a time to even go into reds as a solo player, it's before you get to 20 TR. After that, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't do any good at all. So then we'll do this action, which will get us six credits. And then we are going to start playing card travel. Well, start playing. It sounds like we're going to play a bunch, but we're going to play one card because we have exactly 18. So we're going to play research outpost. It actually gets us another science tag, so that makes scientists a little bit more interested. I really like turmoil though in, in the solo game, I must say, because it's so interesting how it affects the tags are so much more important. All right, so first of all, this will go out here, and now we have a discount on all the cards, which is nice. That's so good to get this early on. Then we get to place a city next to no other tile. This, what do we want to get out of this? That's the question. We could, I mean, we could go here. Then we'll do greenery, greenery, sort of long-term planning. That would just get us one plant right now. That's not that exciting. Hmm. It is not that exciting. Do we want more titanium? I kind of want more steel, actually. Because I ho I'm hoping to do strip mine here at some point, right? That's gonna be... I think we're gonna have to play it like that, because right now I don't feel like we're anywhere close to, to complete, you know, winning the game or anything. So let's go up here next to the nuclear, and we'll get two steel. Can't basically see it, <laughs> because it's behind the nuclear zone. And that's, I think that's the downside of 3D tiles. Especially in the multiplayer game, when you sit around the tables, it can be hard to see things. But okay, anyway, that is good. Now we have done that. We placed that. We got the steel. Now we are going to spend, for the first time, we'll spend three energy. And we are going to fly over to Triton. And that's going to get us three. And then two bonuses. So we'll get five titanium. Feels good. Right there. Then we play the water to Venus. Which is gonna cost us? Oh, that's kind of wait, wait, wait. We don't want to overspend. Okay, I'm not gonna play this. There's no way I'm gonna use this underground detonation in this game. So I'm gonna sell that one for one. So then I can spend three for nine plus one, which is ten. No, I'm stupid. Plus nine. It actually costs eight. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, I don't know what happened there. My mind just flicked for a minute. We had five. We sold the card. We're there. Now we need to pay eight for this because we do have the research outpost. We have to overpay anyway. Should we take back underground detonation? No, I don't think so. We already have a decent heat production, so I don't want to overdo that either. Okay, so let's let's spend three here. It's going to be overpayment because we don't have one more credit there. We could sell another card, but I don't want to. I want to have these. So yeah, we get uh, Water to Venus out, which will be on Venus step, which of course is one TR. And then we'll get another TR by using eight power heat. Going up there, that also gets us another heat production. So again, that's a, you know, we're up to eight there. I really like when Kelvin is there, we get eight cash for that. That's awesome. And hopefully we can do strip my next generation. I don't think so, but because I mean, we, we don't, we like having the energy for flying, but it's yeah, we could just skip one generation or two, then go back to Triton when it build up. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. I think that is it for this generation, though. I don't think we can do anything else. So let's get into the production. And we are going to get 18 minus 3. So we get 15 money. Uh, which is pretty good. 
well, not good at all, but anyway. And then we will get three energy. And we get eight heat. I, I, I'm not that worried about the heat the oxygen. I don't know. I have to do world government, I guess, for that. And speaking of which, we are going to do world government. And we're going to keep doing oxygen. They can't do all of it. I mean, at some point, we need to get something going for plants or something. I don't know. Well, we're going to get two oxygen on this, so... All right, so that was world government. We'll do this. He's going to fly back. This will go up. That will go up. And then we'll do the events and all that, the parliament. So we'll use the TR. I'm gonna get it back in just a second though. Then we're gonna do this and we're gonna get one money production per colony. So we're gonna get two, which is awesome. We're also going to get uh, one titanium for each influence. And right now we have the party leader there. So we have one influence, right? Yeah. We're going to get one titanium. All right. Then we do the dominant party and all that. So first of all, we're going to uh, keep gonna be the same uh, dominant party, right? Wait, didn't we? Oh, I forgot to change that. It was Unity that was act was the one last time. So, oh. Oh, wow. I forgot to change the policy tile. You have to do this in order. I forgot to change this last time. So this generation, number four, that we just went through, Unity was ruling. Because they came from here. That means that the titanium was worth one more. That means when we paid nine, we paid nine, we, think we had to pay eight for that event. We used three titanium, but we could have used only two. So I'm going to take one titanium back. Yeah, because the titanium was worth four. Oh, yeah. Okay, you we can't do these mistakes. We have to, be, have to do everything in order. Okay, so now we change policy type, which will be the Calvinist. Okay. Then we do the ruling bonus, which is one money so we get eight cash for our eight heat production that then we the dominant party leader becomes chairman and we gain one tr so this guy i will put him in there he goes away and all that it is from the dominant party to reserves shift dominance dominance will go there and we do want the reds to become because before we get 20 tr right and we restore the lobby so uh, yeah okay now we do this so we move this over here which means the greens will get a neutral delegate that goes into leader spot right away. Then we flip this down here and we have terraforming lobby. To make Morse habitable, there is a constant political struggle to promote the terraforming effort. To attract more corporations to Mars, the rewards have to outweigh the risks. Generous funding. Gain two credits for each influence and each complete set of five TR over 15. Oh, that's probably going to be like one set. <laughs> but we'll get a few bucks from this, I guess. We're also going to get a neutral delegate into the Kelvinists, which will become the leader. I like that. I do like Kelvinists. It's my favorite party right now. So that was it for all this. Let's go into generation number five. And it goes quick. It feels like, wow, we only have 12 generations. We haven't done much at all. <laughs> but, you know, this game is scaling up. So as is an engine building. So, you know, we're going to get to do more later on here. So let's get ready here with four new cards. And again, really hesitant to pick up new cards because of the economical situation. We'll see how that goes. We have Titan Floating Launch Pad. Add a floater to any Jovian card or spend a floater here to trade for free. That is a good card. And we can start by adding two floaters to this card, which means we can trade for free twice. Like that. Here's a turmoil card, the Cultural Metropolis. Requires that unity is ruling or having two delegates there. 
And that's basically, well, it's interesting because it's, mm, yeah. We lose one energy, we get three money production, we place a city and we place two delegates in one party. So we have to place them in the same party, which is, uh, yeah, it's quite expensive. I don't think we're gonna take that. Asteroid mining, I love this card. This is so good. With two titanium production, but you know, 30. We have some titanium, I guess. We'll get some more. Adaption technology. Is kind of cool in some situations, but not right now. I don't think so. So what do we have? We have 24. We're gonna get at least this cube should be removed. We're gonna get at least six more from here. So that is, we have 30 credits basically. Okay, so I'm gonna remove those that I'm not gonna buy. I'm thinking about these two. I would like to get strip mine going. So that is basically the whole thing we do then. 24. We have steel though. I think we are going to pick up both cards because this is six. Yeah, yeah it's going to make sense. I think we're going to get both of these. If we can get Astro Mining out in the next generation, which I think is possible. I mean, there's no point in us going to Triton and picking up titanium all the time if we don't have any cards to use it for. Uh, this will get us even more titanium. So. So are we gonna get two cards? I think that makes sense. It's gonna cost us six. And that was it, right? Standard technology is awesome, but we don't need it right now, that's the thing. And this, we cannot play this right away, even though it would be nice to trade for free. But this means since we're gonna play this, it doesn't matter that much that we lower energy because we're gonna be able to trade anyway. So let's do the turmoil part first. Um, and I think this time, this time we are going to go, because Reds will become, yeah, we're going to become the leader again, or the chairman again. We're going to have two influence, that is nice, not that it matters for this. Uh, the event here uh, is lowering, losing titanium for Jovian tags, we don't have any Jovian tags. We're not going to play this now, so... And we're not going to play this now. They both are Jovians. So I think we are going to go into Kelvinists again. Because this is a good way to get money for us. Keep going there. Then we'll do this action. We have three different parties. We'll get six credits. And then we are going to play Strip Mine for 24. Since we have the discount over here, right? So 24, we'll pay four in steel. So we need to pay 20 more. Is almost all our money. We lose two energy production, and but we get two steel production, and we get one titanium production. That is awesome. And we're going to do, raise this twice, and that's going to get us two TR, and that makes us going to twenty. And that's important for the reds becoming. So we, now we the reds are 20 or less. So we cannot get, we're not going to raise temperature this time. Because that will get us to 21. Well actually we're going to lose a TR. Before the global event happens. So we can go to 21. Lose a TR. Global event will happen. We go up to 21. We become the chairman. We go to 22. Yeah, so we can do that. Okay. So that's done. And we're sitting here with four. Uh, we are going to fly to Triton. We're going to pay three energy. Fly here. We're going to get two plus two, which is four titanium. We have eight titanium, which is 24. We could almost do the asteroid mine, but we're going to do it next generation. Yeah, because we don't have enough anyway. Oh, it's actually discounted. So it's 29. We have eight times. Three, which is twenty-four. Four. We only we only need one more credit. Wow. Would have, would have been cool if we could have done that, but it would have been awesome. Wow, one credit. It's not like we have a, a good way to just find a credit in here. <laughs> it's not not going to happen. Sadly, because we're not going to sell any of these cards. So yeah. I think that is it, right? But we are going. Yeah, we're going to raise the temperature as well. Let's 
So we go up there and get up to 21 in TR. All right, because the production happens first. So let's do the production, which means we will get uh, 21 minus 1 now. It's nice. We have worked our way up there a little bit. So we get 20. And finally, some income of steel and titanium. That is so nice. And one energy and eight more heat. So we're, not, we're far away from any, you know, feeling like we're going to make it, but sort of starting to get some kind of engine going. <laughs> it might be too late. I don't know. So, okay, that's done. World government is going to do oxygen again, but they're not going to do the next step. We have to do that because of that bonus. And I don't think we'll do it this generation. We'll see how that goes. Then colonies, he will come home. These will go up. Maxed out Pluto. And yeah, let's do the whole uh, parliament again. So we start off losing one TR. Then a global event happens. Why did I say it's not the global event that raises us? Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, this happens, but we don't have any Jovian tags. So we don't care. Then we will change policy tiles. So, oh, wait. I forgot the dominance marker. When I went in there, Kelvinitz became dominant again. Right away. <laughs> That's cool. I missed that. Because we have two there now. So yeah, they became dominant. So then we keep the same policy tile. We do the ruling bonus, which gets us eight credits. That's awesome. I didn't think about that. Why? I think it has to do with next time I'm playing, I'm not going to use this 3D thing. Because this, this just confuses me and it's fiddly, uh, even though it looks cool. So I'd rather not have it actually, and instead I'm going to have it normally over here. I can have the 3D tiles, but because this cube just it just looks weird with the cube there, I think. Okay, so we got the uh, ruling bonus now. Become leader. Oh, and that means we don't become the chairman. And that means the reds is not. Wow, I got so confused there. That's so terrible. Yeah, this is it's this. I'm gonna blame this uh, 3D board here. It's probably not the it's my fault because I haven't played turmoil enough. But okay, so now we're gonna get kicked out. We get a neutral chairman. This goes to the lobby basically. Uh, and it's even loose, which is even more annoying because it moves around. Okay, so now reds become dominant. Yeah, so we didn't get a TR there. We just lost one. And the reds didn't happen. So now we don't want the reds to happen because we're going to have more than 20 from now on, I guess. Ah, well. <laughs> so we restore the lobby. We are going to do global events thingy. So Kelvinists will get another one from here. But we're going to lose temperature here soon, which is so insanely terrible for a solo game. I mean, if this card never come up, I mean, having this card coming up, that's two more terraform steps we have to do than a normal game. So I'm not feeling it. Okay, this guy should be leader as well. Uh, then we move this and we pull out a new one. And it is Diaspora. A new wave of immigrants find their homes on distant moons. Lifetime spent in microgravity create a whole new span of health problems to treat. So... Uh, when this happens, we're going to lose three credits for each colony. Hmm. Well, reduced by influence. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I don't know. That wasn't a good one. And we're going to add a neutral to the Mars first, which means they are the dominant party now. Which is okay, I guess. We have two, four, we have seven building tags. So that is almost as good as the Kelvinists. Okay, so that's uh, everything there. Now let's head into generation number six and we'll get four new cards. And what do we have here? Ganymede colony. It's not bad because we do have the planet put out two. This will be the third with the Jovian tag. It's a point per Jovian. This the planet support. We haven't seen a Venus tag yet, right? Uh, we haven't seen a Venus tag at all. Can't even play this. Well, there's a Venus tag. This requires 10% Venus, though. We're not even close to that. 
Oh wow, it's not going that great. <laughs> this is a really good electro catapult. So we can start selling steel, right? It's max at eight percent oxygen. We are at seven. We could play this. Because we have steel production, I think this is the best one for us right now. This is gonna make us money. So this is most this is mostly about points. This keeps this requires that we keep we can't play it right now. We need we have to keep lowering our energy production, which means we have to we have a way to race it as well. And we can't play this until we find a Venus tag. We don't even know when that's gonna happen. I'm just gonna go with Electro Catapult. I'll pay three for that. And we wanna play it pretty much right away. Well before we Let's max it out so we can raise the oxygen once. Max 8%. 8% or less. Okay. So, where do we start? Maybe we should start like we usually do. Getting money over here. And our free delegate. I mean, we could take over Mars first if we wanted to. We could send him here. That would be two less credits from this. Or maybe just go for Kelvinists actually. Yeah, I think so. Just keep, you know, Kelvinists and Mars first are the two parties that we are interested in really. So, uh, for that bonus. We'll send them over there. Then we do this. Wait, should we? Now maybe we should invest in one more. It costs us five, but if he's gonna stay there, it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to, to pay five. And he's going to stay there and he's going to be active next turn again, which means we might get four out of him. We might get six out of him, but if he stays even more, but. No, we're not going to do that. So we're going to use this to get six credits. And, you know. I don't know, maybe someone of you watching have played solo with this corp and you found that you invested more into the parliament and that, you know, was profitable for you in the long run. Uh, so maybe, yeah, maybe I should do. Okay, so we have 34, which is 35, which is pretty good for us. <laughs> it's the most money we ever had in this game right now. Astro mining need to happen. Um, it definitely need to happen. So we get the titanium production going. So I think we will... But if we do Titan floating first, then we could fly right away. Get four more titanium. Then we could pay the whole thing in titanium. Or we can just do electro catapult. So with, with 35, this will be free. Not free, but we'll pay it in titanium. So this is 33. Can do all of these actually. So where do we start? Well, we start with this one then to get more, even more titanium. So this costs us seventeen for our discount. There we go. And this will start with two uh, floaters on it, and then we'll do the action, removing a floater to fly to Triton. That gets us four titanium total. Then we can play asteroid mining for 29. So that would be nine titanium for 27. Plus two credits, 29, we get two titanium production. We're up to three. And then we have, oh no, we can't do it that way. We need to play this one first. Uh, okay, let's back it up. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. We paid two credits. Plus nine. Um, yeah, so 
We have that. We have to do electro catapult first. That's the thing. So we have to do this for we have, this costs us uh, sixteen. We can pay one steel, so then it costs us fourteen. Uh, yeah, fourteen. We'll pay fourteen. And let's pretend we haven't done this yet. Uh, then we'll get this out here and we have lower energy by one step and we'll use this we'll sell this steel for seven Then we do this whole thing which means we pay two plus nine titanium and we use it and We got to fly and that got us these these four titaniums that we still have there. So I think yeah, I did it correctly. It just I realized I wouldn't have otherwise I couldn't have done electro catapult. Because why is that by the way? I don't know. Because I used steel and then I sold steel. I'm confused. Maybe I could have done it from the start there. I just didn't. Okay, it's done. <laughs> it's done in the correct way. And it was this one that I did. Wow. Okay, now I'm really messed up here. It did. It, wow. Okay, I played this one. I flew. I got the titanium. I, yeah, and then I played this. I picked it up. Then I got the two titanium production. And okay, now everything should be okay. I'm sorry for that. That was a mess. But I think in the end. Because this costs us, yeah, because I had to pay two, and then I didn't have the money. I, I was one uh, credit short to play Electro Catapult. But if I played Electro Catapult first, I sold the steel and I got, yeah, that, that's why it all made sense. So energy has been lowered. I'm just going to check it. We did raise ti uh, titanium production. And this card lets us, yeah, so everything is okay. <laughs> and we still have nine credits, which means maybe we could have. I don't know. Could we have done? Could we get another guy out? Who did this? I don't know. Okay, so should we play standard technology? Uh, not really. We're just going to hold on to it. There's no rush there. But we are going to spend 8 heat to raise temperature. Temperature is going to go down soon. We're up to 21. And I guess that's it. I don't think we can do that much else in here. We only have one card, which is a bit, yeah. So we are going to need to buy some cards in the next generation. But now let's go to the production. So we're getting 21. Yeah, we're going to get 20 again. This is also confusing for my, my math brain with turmoil. Normally you never go down in TR. So, but now it's like, it feels wrong. It's like, oh, did I forget to give myself a TR? Because I got 20 last turn. But I raised the temperature, <laughs> but I lost the TR. It's so weird. I, I still, I'm still not used to the whole uh, turmoil. Um, it's only like, I think this is like the you know, third or fourth time I even play solo uh, with, with all the expansions. And the, last, and the last time was December, I think. So let's see, I get eight more heat. And I hope you enjoy it. If you do, press the like button, you know, uh, tell me in the comment section so I get motivated to keep going and making more of these. Well, I am going to make all of them, but it's always fun to hear from you guys and girls watching. I always appreciate that. So that was everything like that. We do world government. We're not going to do oxygen, though. So instead, well, you know, maybe we should get some oceans out. And that's the second most expensive thing. So. Where do we place oceans? I'll basically just place them in a way so that you don't take up any bonuses. So like if we place it here, that's pretty good because then if we place oceans, we're gonna get money from it and we're gonna get plants. Okay, then we will fly back home or out in space as, lo as it looks here. And that's maxed out. We don't have any microbes going. And yeah, so let's do the events and all that. Which is a bit sad this time because we're gonna low, gonna lose temperature. Okay, so first of all, I'm thinking we lose a TR. Great. 
Then we are going to do this. So we're going to lower temperature twice. I'm not sure about this. Like if you can get the heat bonus more than once. Probably in the rules. But it doesn't matter right now. But I think you can. I think you get it every time you move up. But okay. So then you get to draw a card for each influence. And we have one. Because we're the party leader of the dominant party. So we're going to get to draw one card. And we got solar reflectors. Which is kind of cool for heat. Right. Not bad for heat. Um, but okay. Then we are going to change policy tiles. So now Mars first goes up there. We are going to do the bonus, which is one money per building tag. And we actually built electro catapult as well. So we have three, six, eight now. So now it's even between Kelvinitz and those. So we get uh, eight credits. All right, then we will do the new chairman and we will get, where is he? There he is. So we will get a TR from this. So we are back up to 21. And this guy is gone. And this Kelvinist becomes a ruling party. I like if it just bounces back and forth between them. I guess in a solo game, you should find two that you like. Or that benefits you and then you just try to bounce it back and forth between them and this bonus is not that exciting for us because you know we're not really placing tiles right now but okay so i guess that was it then we go to the uh, global events the unity will get another guy here not really a big fan of that well the good thing with unity is that it strengthens the titanium use i guess but yeah, well it's two and two so we're still dominant on calvinists then we move this and we get a new one. And the one that's going to happen is just the positive one. It's just getting us money. So free academia, academia treaty, setting research free to pursue their own interests without government interference. Setting researchers free, sorry. Diversity, gain 10 mega credits if you have nine or more different tags. Influence counts as unique tags. Wow. Well, this is a bit away before it happens but let's count up our uh, uh we're just going to do the scientists before i forget it so scientists are going to get more and more delegate but then let's and uh, we're done with this so let's count up our different tags nine different so we have well the wild tag which i kind of forgotten about i think a little bit i don't know if i ever had any use for it well yeah when we had a card that said you needed a jovian and we didn't have jovian then we could have used it but anyway it doesn't count in this case because it's it's it doesn't it just works when we do an action. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is the same. So we have we can do it from this direction. We have science, city, building, Jovian, space, earth. Energy. I think those are the ones. So I think it's seven. We have anything here? No, nothing new. I mean, if we have, we could have two influence by then. That's going to be nine, ten credits. We'll see. That's that's really far off. But now we are ready to go into generation number seven. So let's get four new cards. Check them out a little bit. Adapted lichen. I would like some plant production because we can sell plants as well right now with electro catapult. Towing a comet gets us some plants and oxygen, and uh, that's pretty good actually since we do have. I mean, we have a bunch of titanium. We could use it for this, I guess. I mean, we're gonna fly for free to Triton, so we're gonna get four more, which means we're gonna have 11. So that's 33, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I think towing a comet could be a thing actually. And that would get us the oxygen that will bump us up to eight, which will get us another. Yeah, that's a good combo. Mining expedition would do the same though. Get to steel, but it doesn't have the space tag. Tractor balloons, there's a Venus ta tag. That would be another tag, which is not bad. 
add a float to this card or remove two floaters to raise Venus one step. Oh, I want this one. Because that's a way to go. But it's 21. It's kind of expensive. It starts with three. So it's like we get 15 from a standard project, basically. Well, we're going to do the standard project card soon. So it's not that expensive. And if we do the math again, I have to do the math. We play this now. I don't think we can because I want to play other stuff. But if we, if we would play this now, then we would start off. We would do this. Uh, we would raise Venus. We would have one more floater left here. Sadly, our Titan floater says add floater to a Jovian card. It doesn't work with this. Um, we would have one left. Then in generation number eight, we would add one. In gener generation number nine, we could do another Venus. In 10, we would add one. In 11, we would add one. And in 12, we can do one. So it's going to be three. Yeah, so in this game, this in this game, this card is gonna be like forty five worth forty five credits, which is not exact entirely true because we are gonna play standard technology, right? This is gonna give us three back, so it's gonna be worth uh, thirty six instead. So this is gonna be thirty six. It's gonna cost us twenty. No, this is we have one discount. So it's gonna cost us twenty three. So it makes sense. It makes sense to buy this card. That is if we play this generation. Otherwise, the math is totally wrong. So I kind of well, I want to do towing a comet, but towing a comet at twenty three, we can do that with just titanium. So yeah, we are going to get towing a comet. Yeah, okay, we're going to do it like this. We're going to get both these, uh, and we're going to play both in this generation. And are we also going to get Mining Expedition? That's 15 for a uh, Oxygen. That's a good deal. And we get two Steel. Yeah, so we're going to get three cards, which might be a bit crazy. But we are moving up in money now. Uh, we got eight just from the Parliament bonus. So I think this will work out. I don't want to do all the math in detail because that would be too boring for you to watch. Uh, <laughs> and so on. Okay, so we got the cards. Where do we start? Well, we start where we usually start, right? Uh, which is over here. And the free guy goes into Mars first. It's pretty obvious at this stage, I think. Well, we could go into Kelvinist just to take the part leader, but I don't see. Interesting thing is, if we do that, because this will get, get us two money per influence. So by going in there, okay, by going in here, instead of doing Mars first, if we do Mars first, this, our corporation ability will get us two more credits, right? But if we go into Kelvinists, we will become party leader, which means we will get a TR as well, which is nice. And that also means that we will have, uh, we will have three influence in total. We will have a delegate, a party leader, and a chairman. And from this one, that means we get two more credits then. So it's a wash. We we get the same amount of money. The th the only difference is if we go Mars first now, then we get three credit, uh, two more credits right now. Uh, this will get us two more credits at the end of this generation. But it's also going to get us a TR. So this makes sense. We're going to go in here, and we're going to take it over. So yeah, because of that TR, this makes sense. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. So then we do this. And we are, we're only now in two parties, so we only get four uh, credits. So I guess I guess what you want to do is, I mean, like the guy we have in Mars first, he's he's perfect in there because he's sitting, uh, not in, in reds, I mean, he's sitting there and he's alone, and it's probably not going to ever be dominant, be uh, you know, dominant party. But he he's staying there. That's what you want to do with this corp. You want to have people out there that doesn't. Right now, these two, we were going to lose two delegates, sort of lose, but yeah. Okay, so we've done that. We got four credits now. Let's do our action cards. I like to do those here in the beginning. So let's do this and sell a steel to get seven more credits. And as I said, we are making money now in a totally different way uh, than we did earlier. So that is nice. So we have, I don't even know what this is, three, nine. So we have 39. We're going to do this. I'm going to give up uh, this uh, uh, floater to 
apply to Triton, which will get us a total of four titanium. That. And then we're ready to start playing cards, right? So, I mean, we're going to have to start uh, this as soon, sooner or later, we're going to have to start doing standard projects like crazy. So, but right now I want to do, uh, we, we can do, we do towing a comet. So, oh, wait, we should have done this first. Oh, it doesn't matter. I, I'm thinking we could have sell, sold a plant instead of a steel. But we don't have anything that requires steel anyway right now, so it doesn't really matter. And we do need plants in the long run. Okay, so towing a comet, 22 is the cost. We are going to pay 7 titanium, which is 21 plus 1 credit. We are going to get uh, two plants, first plants we had in this game. We're going to put out, an. we're going to do it like this. We're going to put out an ocean, we're going to raise this. And that's going to raise this. So a total of three, one, two, three ER. And yeah, that was the card. So now we put, we do the ocean. We got the TR. Okay, so where do we, I guess we almost want to start gathering plants now. Then. I think so. Well, we're going to do it like this, I guess. So we'll put it. Here, that's a plant and two credits. And that felt good. That was a good card to play. So much happening here. And I'm, you know, we're almost at 25 TR in generation number seven. <laughs> um, okay, so extractor balloons for 21. No, for 20. We have the discount. Let's not forget that. And it's going to. Start with start with three uh, floaters on it. Oh, it's a bit tricky to move these tokens out of here. Uh, okay, so start with three there. Now we're going to do the action, which is to remove two, raise Venus one step up to four in Venus. We get one more TR. Okay. And then it is time for mining expedition, which will cost us 11. So oh, fiddly, uh, which will get us oxygen and one other TR. We also get two steel from that. So that is it, I think. We have, what is this? Three, it's nine. Oh no, no, we're gonna do this, of course. So let's raise heat back up, that lowered. And see, this is 23, we have 12. Oh yeah, we can do the solar reflector section. We should because we're going into Kelvinists. That is five more. This is five cash more we're gonna get from this. Okay, so this is twenty-two, and we're gonna pay twelve. Oh, how am I counting? Three, six, nine. We're gonna be one short. Again, one credit short. Like the third or fourth time that has happened in this game. That it would have been nice to play. I mean, this would have been so nice. This is five more. This is so much, such a discount. 22. We have 12 in titanium. So we need 10 credits. We only have nine. Could we have changed that up in some way? No, I don't think so. There's nothing we did during this generation that could have. Yeah, we well, we placed that guy, and I talked about that we're gonna get two money later instead of now. <laughs> so that I would have been. Ah, oh, this game. Okay, well, it is what it is. We're gonna have to live with it, and yeah, let's go into production.
So we're gonna get 27 minus one, which is 26. I can't believe that we're, st we're still at minus one. We haven't found a way to get more money production in all this time. Well, well we did get some there, but. Then we're going to get two more steel, three more titanium. I like this production that we have now, that is awesome. Just need to find a good card as well to fit that production. And then we get eight heat. Then we are going to do world government and the question now is do we do oxygen or do we think that I mean if I think that I will end up being able to race it a few times I don't want to you know max it out there but there's yeah we're gonna do one more uh, and then we might do like two, two greeneries yeah we'll, we'll do one more for world government then we do uh, colonies, so this comes home. Now we're going to raise these, and now Triton is going to get some uh, boss because this generation we're not going to fly. We're going to add floater down here, and then we're going to fly the next one, which means we get three. Uh, so yeah, but since it goes up, when you get past this first part, uh, it goes one, one. Now it goes one, two, three, four, five. It's, it's getting more, it doesn't, you know, so it's nice anyway. So that is it for that. Now let's do the events for this. And we are going to start by losing a TR. And we do this in order. And we do this. And now this now we have three influence. And we're gonna get six credits from this. So that's not bad. And oh, we also get two for each set of five over 15, which is, uh, so we get four more because we have two sets, we're 26. So that's two sets over 15. Complete set, yeah, complete set of five TR. So that was pretty good actually, we got 10 credits from that. Then we are going to do the dominant party becomes ruling. So I'm gonna change into Calvinists again. And then we get the bonus, which is eight credits for us. With our eight heat production. I have a lot of money actually now. Then we do the dominant party leader. We don't need to switch that guy out. It's basically just gonna be like this. One there, one there, and he goes away. This is how it's gonna look. And this is gonna go over to Unity. And we get a TR from becoming the chairman. Now oh, he lost his balance over there. Oh. <laughs> it's a bit fiddly with these 3D things, but it, they look nice. So yeah, then we move this and that means we get another one into the scientists, which means scientists become dominant and they are really strong. So scientists are gonna happen, I guess. And we have two science tags, so it's not that great, but. All right, then we'll move this and we get a new one. Scientific progress. The current discoveries are not ripe for profit yet, but that day will come and make it all worth it. Productivity. Gain a steel for each steel production. Well, that's, that's pretty cool. We're going to get two more steel when that happens. Funny thing is that this is also a scientist, so we get another guy into scientists, which is kind of good because then he's not really doing anything. He doesn't add, add anything. They were going to be ruling anyway next, you know. So the, then all of these guys are going to go away. So yeah, why not? All right. So that was it there. We are ready to start playing generation number eight. And we get four new cards. So let's see what we have here. GG factories. It's not a bad one. Maybe it's a bit late game. Maybe it's a bit late. Uh, Jupiter floating station. Add a floater to a Jovian card. We gain a credit for every floater here. As it's, these two could work sort of together, I guess, but Titan air scrapping. Spend a titanium to add floaters to this card or spend two floaters here to increase your TR once that. This is cool. Because we do have titanium, but then again we have to consider this is once every two generations. This will happen one, this will happen three times. 
two points, yeah. Three times. So three TR plus two points. That's five points for 21. And here's the promo that is so complicated. The self-replicating robots. We reveal a space or a building card and place two resources on it or double the resources on a card here. This, uh, but it's, it's way too complicated for my brain. Um, so... I think GHG is too late, maybe. But then again, we need more heat, I guess. We only have eight, well, we have eight production. That's one, that's too slow. That's too slow, but we don't have any energy to lower. We're gonna get heat here. So yeah, we're not gonna do this one. And that one we can pay with titanium. And we can't play this, well, can actually play it because we have the wild tag so it's like we have three science tags we could play this it will let us trade more yes that just gives us more i don't know um i think we'll do that i think we'll get this one the only problem with this one is that it's not really doing much for the gameplay it's more of a points card I mean, we're gonna get TR, which is a little bit money, but it's gonna cost a lot. No, you know what? No cards this time. We're gonna have to start doing standard projects and so on if we're gonna pull this off. So I'm gonna be strict with myself, <laughs> even though I want to. <laughs> I want to get all the cards. But I'm not gonna get any cards. So then we are going to do Parliament first of all, and free guy. What are we up to? We are up to three, six, eight. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna get more heat. Yeah, so we're definitely going with Calvinists. Calvinists, it is. And then we do this. We're not paying for it, so we just do that to get four credits because we're in two different parties. And then we do our actions. So this will just add a floater here this will add a floater there and this will sell deal for seven credits one of my favorite cards in the game i think i just love uh, being able to turn two two worth of steel into seven money and money you can use for everything as well so so now we actually have 10 20 we have 64 credits that's insane we're rich <laughs> wow okay so let's start with solar reflectors this is 22 we pay we pay 21 in titanium plus one that's gonna get us five so uh, all the way up to uh, 13 so we'll do that and that and that's gonna be more money when kelvinists become ruling which will not happen now but hopefully next i will see and yeah so that's played And we can do eight for a temperature, getting us a TR. Wow, okay, I'm starting to get annoyed that this guy has such a bad balance. Um, then we are down to, I guess we're down to standard project time. I mean, at one point or another, you come to the standard project time in a solo game. That's how it works. So. We play this for five. That's actually a sign. That's <laughs> gonna get us one more money from the scientists. I love that. I love that with the with the whole uh, turmoil. This whole how the tags get so much more important all of a sudden. It's so interesting, especially for the solo game because in another game, in the multiplayer game, you might want to get tagged for a certain milestone or for a, a an award, but in the solo game, tags hasn't really meant. That much as they do now in in turmoil so that's cool okay so we have standard technology now so we're gonna get three back after we pay for one but where do we start in that regard is there anything we should consider here I mean we are gonna get eat now we're making 13 yeah so we could we could just do two Venus to get a draw card. We don't have any cards. 
So I guess that would be a decent one, right? So let's do that. Let's pay. So basically, we pay 30 and we get six back because we standard technology will kick in twice. And that gets us two here. And two over here. I can't really see it if we have it like that. There we go. And we get to draw a card. See what it is. Here, take a contract. So you can spend heat to increase TR. This is a good one in especially multiplayer. And people rush to that and then you can start. But I mean this is only used if temperature is maxed. So we'll hold on to it. We'll see. Maybe we use it in the I don't know. So what do we do next? We have 34. I think we'll do I think we'll do an ocean. That's gonna cost us 18, but yeah, we're gonna pay 15 because we get three back. I will put it here where we get four money back. And we also get uh, one plant. So then we are down to 23, which could, it could be a greenery, but I don't think, you know, We'd let the world government take care of the oxygen for most of the game. So instead, I think we'll do another one here. So we'll pay 15 more. We'll pay 18, but we get three back for another ocean. And we're up to four plants. So I think we'll do this. So that gets us two plants. And then if we can do another ocean next generation, that will get us up to eight. That's probably going to be like our only greenery in the whole game. <laughs> we never got any plant structure or anything going. So I think that's it. I don't think I've forgotten anything here. So yeah. We could. Mm, I say something interesting here. If, if we don't do anything here, then scientists will be ruling. Dominance will shift over to unity. But if we pay five putting a guy into Kelvinists, it goes clockwise, and then Kelvinists will become ruling instead. And we know we're going to add a guy here into scientists, which will not matter that much. But I think that makes sense. I just saw it. It's the whole turmoil thinking. Because if we don't do this, Dominance shifts over to Unity to get it back to Kelvinists, which we want. We would have to put in two guys. So this makes sense like preemptive thinking here because we want that that's 13 credits Kelvinist is the one we just want to keep now that is more important now that's that's one downside to this thing like this is in the solo game at least this is nice right because you get some money but right now for us the difference for us if Kelvinists become ruling and anyone else, I mean, Mars first is sort of close there. They give us eight credits, but Kelvinist gives us 13. So it's more important for us to just put people into Kelvinist than to spread them out to get more money from this, which makes this corporation a bit, I don't know, not useless, but it, it, it lowers the effect of it at least. Okay, so we're in the middle of the, um, where are we? We've been talking too much here. <laughs> so, uh, but we've done everything. That's the thing. So we're gonna go into production, right? Oh wow! I'm I'm getting a bit. Uh, I'm gonna take a break. Uh, you know, you're not gonna notice it because I'm gonna off camera. But I'm gonna get some fresh air and so on, so that might clear my brain because it is so much to take in in this game. So I remove the cubes and let's do the production, right? So it is thirty minus one. It's twenty nine. I want to stay fresh for you guys so I don't sit here and get too tired and mess everything up. So two more steel, three more. And I kind of recommend you to do that as well if you're playing solo uh, yourself. You know, take a break once in a while and uh, get, you know, some snack or whatever so that you feel a little bit, uh, uh, you know, more energized. So this is 13 more heat. And world government. So we're going to put out greenery. 
we might find a car that lets us re you know, so I don't think we want to do, I think we are going to put up another ocean with the world government. And we're not going to go there because that's our planned spot, so we're going to go there. It means we have a good spot here for getting more money when we place that ocean. Then we are going to raise Triton. Pluto is maxed out. We never went to Pluto. Maybe we should. Because we don't really have much cards, right? But what would we get now? We would get four cards. Um, yeah, we would get four cards, which is not a bad idea. All right, so <laughs> that's... I'm getting stuck here. Now let's move on to the vent board and the turmoil. And we start off with losing a TR. Then we do the global event, which means we go, sadly, we, uh, this test that we will lose three money for each colony. But we have one influence because we are the chairman, so we're only losing three because we have two colonies, right? Yeah. So we get seven back from the 10. And then, yeah, that's done. That wasn't too good. Then we have the dominant party ruling. So we will be kicked out right to the lobby. This guy will go up here. Remove all of these. And then dominance will shift to Calvinists because of our inconvenience there. And that's about it. There's no TR because it was neutral. Now we move this and that means we get a scientist. New party leader. And this moves and we have a new one which is bioengineering boom. The current explosion of biomanipulation techniques for terraforming will in time open up a range of new products. Spin off products. Gain two credits for each science tag. We just forgot, we forgot the, we forgot a lot of stuff here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so this will give us two money for each science tag. And I am getting a bit tired because we need to shift this. Now we can draw cards for 10 and we should get one for each science tag, which is three. So we should get three credits. And you ha uh, again, I'm speeding through this uh, process and I can't do that. I have to read this out loud and it is a bit, you know, it's for some reason, it's a bit, you know, hard to keep track of. I don't know why. So, and as we put this out, we should also put a guy into the greens. So the greens now have two um, delegates. Okay, so that is the generation done. And now we're going to go into generation number nine. All right, so it's time for generation number nine. We're going to draw four new cards. And let's see here, we have the air scrapping expedition. Raising Venus one step and add three floaters to any Venus card. We could add those to the extractor balloons, which will help us raise Venus even faster. So that's a pretty good one, actually. Mohole area. Uh, four heat production and place that tile on an ocean. It's actually kind of good because the thing is we are building up steel. So we're up to six steel. We don't really use it for anything. So I mean, we, we're low on cards. So. And we are going to get uh, Calvinists. So this is a discount of four, basically, at least because we'll get four cash for having more. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Gyropolis is a decrease your energy step two steps and then you get money for Venus and uh, you have money production for Venus and Earth tags. We don't really have that much of that. We don't have any energy. Ice cap melting. This is a good one though. This is a very cheap ocean. There's four oceans left. We're gonna get one from that. I think this is a good one to keep because it's it only costs seven total for an ocean. We can't play it right away though. I have to wait a little bit. So I think three cards then. Feels like a lot because we don't have that much money, but still we need cards. We need we need to do stuff. Um I mean ex besides the whole standard project uh, you know plan. Okay, so we picked up some cards and we are ready to go, but we are going to start as we usually do with the parliament where do we send our guy now? Well, I think we just want him in, in another party. Um, because. 
yeah, nothing will change. So no, that, that's also nice. When you play multiplayer, this, this is a whole mini game in itself because someone could go in here and all of a sudden Kelvinist would not be the dominant part anymore. But of course, the, uh, the, the AI is not going to do that. So we'll go into Mars first. It is our second best one, money-wise. And then we'll do our action. And we are in three parties, so we get six credits. Then we are going to do our actions, which is to sell a steel. We don't want to sell a plant, so we'll sell a steel. That gets us seven more credits. And we're going to do this to give up two, um, what's it called? Floaters to raise Venus, which will get us a TR. Then we are going to do this to uh, fly for free. So we go to Triton. Or do we want to draw cards now? Go to Pluto or cards. I mean, Triton will get us five. We don't have anything to use titanium for, and Triton will just keep building up. So we could do Triton, yeah. So, yeah, let's fly to Pluto the first time. So we'll get four cards. That's nice. So we have Heather. And it's not bad. Okay. Not bad. Uh, Psychrophiles. Which we can't play. It's max 20. Yeah, so we can't play that. We're going to sell that. Insulation is a way to get money from the heat production. It's, it's, it's not that much time left. If we were close to getting done with that, that could be nice. I mean, we're just going to hold on to it. Dirigibles add a floater to any card. And when playing a Venus tag, floaters may be used as payment uh, worth three. Only reason I see using the playing this is to be able to trade more often with you know mm. yeah okay we're gonna sell sacrifice right away because there's no way we're gonna be able to play that and we'll just hold on to the other ones we'll see here later on if we need money we might start selling more cards as well so let's do some card play well let's do uh, let's do sixteen uh, heat first of all. For two steps there, bringing us up to 32. I think that is a given one, right? And then we are going to play Mohol area for 19 minus 10 with steel, which is a 9. So we'll pay 9 credits. And then we are going to get four more heat production. So we go up to 17 and we're going to place this tile. Okay, so it's obviously this one. You can see it on the bottom of the tiles, uh, the symbol, because I don't really, well, it's sort of actually, if we look at this, it's a reminder, you know, it's them kind of clear there and I don't know, some smoke is kind of cool with the cotton. <laughs> Uh, some tricky stuff Martin made there. Okay, so this has to go on to tile reserved for oceans. We're gonna put it right here, which will get us two credits and two plants. And yeah, that's a good one. Then we should mark that as well, actually. So we get a get a greenery out. Uh, I think we'll do we'll do this air scrapping for twelve. So that will raise Venus. Gets us a TR, and we can add three floaters to any Venus which is going to be the extractor balloon so then we can raise Venus right away in the next generation again so that's not bad and I think we'll put out we'll put out the greenery why not and I you know we want to get points and all that we could put it up here because now we have this tile but I think we'll put it here 
for two steel. And that's also going to give us a point for the city, right? And raising oxygen and raising TR. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah, we have, what is it, 18? So, thinking standard projects, I guess. We do this to add a floater to the one that lets us trade. It's quite, ex I don't know, why did I? Yeah, I didn't take this. I got this for free from those four cards. Because, I mean, it's quite expensive. Pay 10 uh, to be able to trade. That is expensive. Uh, this one is interesting, though. It's, it only costs us 5. Can't play this yet. Probably never going to play that. So, or we have 18. I mean, for 18, we could do other ocean. Yeah, let's let's spend 18 or actually 15 because we'll get you know three back. Put an ocean here. That gets us a plant and six credits. And then we'll use five of those. Say the heather uh, or heather, I don't know. And then that's gonna give us a plant. And a plant production. This is kind of late game, but still. Right. Now we have four left. And I don't think we want to play any of these, really. And we've done the actions. I think we're done there. I don't think we can do anything else. So let's go to production. And we have 34 minus 1. So 33. Still have that minus 1. So 33 credits, we get two steel, we get three titanium, a plant, and what is it? 17 sheet. Nice. So it goes over there, and now we go to world government. We have two more steps on oxygen, but I think we might pull off another green river. So I'll, I'm gonna go with oceans and I'm going to set up again for a good placement there or if we you know when we place an ocean just to get more money right and then we'll do this we're gonna fly home we're gonna race right and it's all the way up to four now so that's nice and we still don't have anything for Enclades <laughs> so let's head over to the parliament and we are going to do this properly now. So we're going to lose the TR. Which is so hard to do with this guy. I'm going to kick him out soon and start using a cube instead. Then we have the global event. And now we have this whole thing here with the... Oh, okay. So how many tags do we have? That's the question. So we have... We added the Venus, which means we have eight. And we have the party leader. And we have a delegate. So I think we're up to ten, right? So we're going to get... And uh, credits from this. That's not bad at all. Then we are going to change the policy tile for Kelvinists. Uh, where did it go? It's down here. Then we're going to uh, become the chairman, which means we get a TR up to 34 again. And we did that. We did the lobby, and dominance should shift over here to the greens. Okay, we should also do the bonus. <laughs> so this should, yeah, I don't know why I have such a hard time remembering anything. So this gives us seventeen credits because we have seventeen heat production. So that is incredible. We are going to have a lot of money here for the late game. Perfect. I mean, we're going into this generation with 64 credits. That's not bad at all. Okay, so card time. Let's uh, move this. And we're going to add a neutral to Mars first. 
I don't mind. This goes there, and we get a new... Oh, it's going to be Mars first. Okay, so separatist movement. Powerful rebel factions are challenging the world government on Earth and elsewhere. If the conflict escalates into civil war, they may need to cut their ter terraforming expenses on Mars. There's going to be war on Earth, so we're going to reduce TR four steps by preventing it with influence. Let's see, when is this going to happen? Uh, that's going to happen in... 10, 11. Yeah, this is the last thing that will happen in the game. No, it will, will not happen because we don't do the solar phase. We don't do the solar phase. Okay, so this is never going to happen. That's cool. But we're going to add another guy into Mars first, which means this becomes dominant and they take over party leader. But I like that Mars first is going to be dominant. That's cool. Because that's going to get us some money as well there. It's much better than having the greens. We almost don't have any plant uh, tags and so on. So that's it for everything here. Now let's go over to the next generation, which will be number 10. We're going to get four new cards. So let's see what we get. We start off with the Corona Extractor. That's a, a sad name these days. Uh, this is going to get Let's see, we can play it because we have the tags for energy. Might be a thing though. We might need energy. Building industries is nice for steel production, but it's too late now to start getting production, really, I think. Uh, the birds, we can play them. We have the we have the 12% Venus. This just adds animals. We have to spend a floater, but it's one point per animal. The thing is, though, I don't want to spend any money on this because we still, you know, we still need oceans. We st I mean, oxygen is okay. Venus is not okay. We need to work on Venus. We need to work on heat. So, yeah. And sponsored mohole. Uh, we can play this because Calvinists are ruling. And even more heat production. Which actually makes sense. And we can pay for this with steel. So, we are going to get that. We are not gonna get well we have titanium. Hmm, I think we are gonna get this one then. I think we are gonna get that one. I mean it only kinda costs us three titanium plus three to buy it, so I mean we have a lot of money now. This would get us uh, I don't think we need more steel production, so I think we'll get these two. So that's going to cost us uh, six. Then we are going to start off with the parliament as we usually do. I like to do things in order just because, you know, there's so much going on. So where do we place? Well, obviously, Calvinists. Uh, we do want to have them ruling one more time before the game is over. And we are in three different parties, so we get six credits from that. And then we will sell some steel, right? So we can sell a plant, but I'd rather sell steel. So we get seven credits from that. Now we are going to raise Venus by removing two floaters. So we go up there and we get another ER. I reach it. Then we are going to do this one. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do this one to add a floater here. Gonna be able to fly one more time for free. And then we have cards. So this could be something later on. I don't know. We're gonna do the sponsored mohole. It only costs us four because our discount. We pay with two steel. We get two more heat production. We're up to 19. That's also a building tag for Mars first, which is nice. So that's another discount, really. Then we're gonna spend 16 heat. Go up twice. A few more TR. He's just gonna have to lay there. <laughs> He's freaking me out. Uh, Corona Extractor. Gonna cost us uh, 3 titanium, which is 9. That gets us 4 energy production. And then we have a lot of money which will go into standard projects. 
these two cards are like opposites of each other really we might do insulation like in the next well we'll see we're gonna have to like right now we have five heat we're gonna get 19 more that's 24 that is three steps that's not gonna be enough so we can't we can't do this yet and there's no yeah so we're never gonna do installation but yeah okay so ice cap melting is also later on here so we are gonna start doing standard projects so what do we do okay first off paying 12 we're paying 15 but we get it back so we're paying 12 to do venus because that gets us two tr in total as well up to 39 and maybe we should, maybe we should just continue some of Venus actually. I think it makes sense. So let's pay twenty four, which is thirty, but then we get six back. To do two more steps here, gets us up to forty one. I'm starting to think that we are gonna make it actually. Looks pretty good here. Uh, we could do, I mean, we're going to have to do, we're going to do world government as well a few times, right? So we're going to do, well, we're going to do world government two more times. We're going to do an ocean for 18, which is 15. And we're going to place it right here, which will get us six credits back. We can do this. It looks somewhat nice. So six credits back. And then we're sitting here with 26. Hmm. Then the question is, what do we do? Could be. Let's see. We're gonna do some math again. So we are gonna have. We have. What did I say? We have. We're gonna have twenty-four next time. So it's one, two, three, which will get us the last ocean, and up here. And then we're gonna do production one more time, which is nineteen. So we're gonna go up there. So we're probably gonna need two standard products on heat but we don't need to do them now we might not i don't think we're going to get to eight more plants we could do world government here and then venus we probably will be able to do one more venus from our extractor balloons so yeah let's do one more venus we'll pay 15 get three back and we go up to 22, 42, and we have 14 exactly. So let's pay 14, get three back, do one there, go up to 43. It's a lot of standard projects in solo games. That's how it is. So we're gonna end it there for the generation. Remove these and let's do production. So we get 42 cash. Then we also get two steel and three titanium plant, and we get four energy, which is nice. Then we also get 19 lovely heat. Right, then world government will do oxygen, save some money there and yeah well we might actually not do that we might actually buy some greeneries here in the end game because we have a lot of money but we don't want to do the ocean so now let's do oxygen let's do oxygen okay. then triton goes up Udo moves up and we are ready for the parliament once again so we go into the losing a tr first of all then we do the global event which is getting a steel for every steel production so we get plus influence so we get two steel and we also have one delegate uh, in the uh, dominant party and we also have the chairman so in total we get four steel all right like those positive events then we change the policy tiles so it's going to be mars first again We do the bonus, 
which is, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, exactly. So we get ten credits for our building tags. Then we do the, uh, well, we're going to get kicked out. He's going to become the chairman. And these will be kicked out. And new dominance goes to the greens. Then we move this card, which means we'll add a scientist. Move this, and we are going to see here. It's going to be another scientist. Okay, so they become dominant. Uh, it's not ideal for us, but science summit. Each year, humanity's best scientists spend a week together debating the biggest challenges facing the terraforming effort. Sponsored projects. All cards with resources on them gain one resource. Draw a card for each influence. This is never going to happen, but yeah. Okay, so ready for a new generation? It's going to be number 11. Four new cards. And we have Solar Net, which we can actually play uh, to draw two cards. We have Solar Power. I don't think we want to play that. Well, yeah, we can play with Steel, and it's a point. So, yeah, maybe. Fuel Factory, Production. Mm, no, that's, that's not going to happen at this stage. Greenhouses, gain a plant for each city tile. That's four right now. You can play with, pay with steel. So yeah, I like this. This is a way for us to get another greenery. Okay. So not, we're not going to do fuel factory, but I think we're going to do the other three. Because they're all fairly cheap. So that's nine. And we're not going to do all of the cards that we have in hand. We're going to sell some of these as well okay so we start off like we usually do it's like i'm repeating myself all the time sorry but that's how it goes so where do we put this guy and uh, now i would like to get kelvinist ruling that's a lot of money for us but we need we would need to get up to four delegates so that's not going to happen this is this is the last time we do this as well so so in that case, here we're going to get two money for each science tag plus influence. So let's just get an influence. Let's just go in here. And it's a different party as well than we have already had. So that's three, which means uh, we get six credits from our action. And yeah, then we sell some steel, right? Like we usually do. So that's going to get us seven credits. And we are going to add a floater here. We're going to be able to use that in the last generation to raise Venus one step. And now we're going to fly for free. And we don't really need titanium. That's the thing. It's a bit sad with the whole... We have a good setup here for Triton. But let's go to Pluto instead. Draw two cards. That makes more sense. We got Mercurian alloys. Titanium are worth one extra. <laughs> so cool. Such a good card, but right now it's kind of useless. Corporate stronghold, though. But this is minus two points, but it gets us the city tile for very cheap. Minus two points, though. If we place it there, that's one point from the greenery. And we can do like a greenery. So I think think this could make sense. It's so cheap. I mean, it's only going to... We can pay with steel. We get the cards, anyhow. Um, but I think we are going to play that one. Even though it's minus two points. So... And then we can do greenhouses after that. Gain a plant for each city tile and play. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, so it costs ten. We pay with five steel. And we lower our energy by one, it doesn't matter. And we get three money. Wow, we're in the positive. So we're plus two in money production. <laughs> and sadly, it's minus points, but we get to place a city. And just as I said here, I like the idea of placing it here. It gives us a plant and six credits. And most of all, you know, we're using that greenery up there from the AI player 
So we get one of those points back, really. Then we play the greenhouses for a uh, five. So we pay with the steel plus three credits. And then we get five plants. Very easy to see how many cities are out now <laughs> with the 3D tiles. That's a positive. So five there. And then we spend eight plants. And we're going to do this cool tile. This, is this a normal um, you know, greenery tile from what I can tell? But it has this little dam here. <laughs> it looks really cool. We're going to place this one right here, which will get us two money and three plants. And now I realized that it was uh, really stupid to let the world government do. Well, we have one more step. Like, I can't even see the stuff here because they're in the way. Okay, we have one more step. So, we're good. Go up to 43. Because we are going to get up to another greenery. That's what I realized now. Okay, we should mark this as well so we don't forget that. So we have like 60 something credits. Mm, okay, so we're we're not gonna do, I think we're gonna do caretaker contract actually once. So we're not gonna do these. And we're not gonna do, well, we might do solar power. We're not gonna do dirigibles. Let's just thin out our hand. We're gonna sell three cards just because it's annoying to have them there and I already know I will not play them. So let's do solar net because that gives us some cards. So we know what we have to deal with. That's going to cost us six. Love having those uh, discounts. So that's going to let us draw two cards. Orbital reflectors. Ooh, that's not bad. We have titanium and this just raises Venus. Nice. Viral enhancers. Um, get a plant. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna do that. But let's do this one for sure. Because I mean, normally it would cost us uh twenty four to raise Venus twice. This costs us twenty five, and we can pay with titanium. So yeah. Question is: Should we do it now, or should we do it in the last generation? where we will have another titanium production before that. Hmm. Now let's do it. Let's do it now. Because it's always good to get, yeah. Okay, so 25, we pay six, this is 18. Maybe that alloy would have made sense then. Yeah, because this would just cost us two, but it would give us six. Yeah, they, okay. Let's rewind a little bit. I'm sorry, but yeah, there's so much to consider here. So let's let's put that back. We haven't played Orbital Reflectors yet. We have the six. We spend two. Uh, we, we have to remove one. We never sold this, so we have to remove one credit. Now we pay two to, pay, to, pay, to play this. We have the science tags. So that means now our titanium is worth four. So um, six times four is 24. And we just need to pay one more credit to put this out. So that makes, made, ah, okay. Now we get two more heat productions. So we go up to 21. And we get two Venus steps. Brings us to 26, two more TR. So we still have 57 credits. We're doing good. Let's spend 24 heat <laughs> to go one, two, three. That's also ocean, so we get 40 yor in total. So we're up to 49. And the ocean will place here to get a card and four credits. So take the credits and we're going to get a card. 
It is natural preserve. We can't even play it, so we're gonna sell it right away. The maximum four percent oxygen. And okay, so now we are at plus two, which means no, I'm stupid. Now we can do ice cap melting. Now we don't have any oceans anymore. <laughs> so I miss that. Wow. That's not good at all. Can't do stuff like that. Oh well. So instead, now it's all about points, really. Because now I can see that we're going to complete it. So, okay, so let's spend 25. Get the money production and get three credits back from the standard project of making a city. We're going to put this city right here. So that's two plants and four credits. Four credits like that. Okay. Just need one more plan to get the greenery. Can get a plant out of this if we pay eight for this. I guess we do that. It's kind of weird. Weird way to get a plant, but what's the what's the alternative? We could put out another city, I guess. Kind of, we kind of built badly down here because now we can't place stuff there. We can't place it there. Yeah, this was not the best. Okay, so we're going to do this for eight. It's kind of weird, but let's do it. So let's pay eight. And that will get us a... We're actually getting one money as well from the, having another science tag. But also when we play this... Um, including this gain, uh, we play the microbe tags, we gain a plant, or we could add a resource to a uh, microbe card or animal card, but we don't have that. So we're going to get another plant. We're going to spend the eight plants that we now have in order to do a greenery, which will be the last oxygen step. We go up to 50 TR. And where do we place this? We we are gonna be able to put up more cities, so if we place it here, I guess it gets us two plants. Hustle this and two credits. So that made that city better. So we can do another city here. Then we can do a greenery in between, so this city benefits as well. Uh, something like that. Um, okay, so we are gonna get 21, so we're gonna get two steps here, so we need to pay for one step. We need to pay for one step, so let's do that, let's spend 11, well 14, we get three back. That gets us to 51, and we're gonna have to stand this guy up. And we have, we are gonna, yeah, we're probably gonna do this as well, right? Well, if we want to do this, then we have to pay for. It's like we can buy a point for an extra point for uh, fourteen. Then we're gonna have to sell this because we messed that up. There's no more more oceans to place. Solar power, we can do that with steel, maybe just for the point in the last generation. What do we have? We have 28. We get one Venus. We get one more world government as well. Oh, so we can do world government on the temperature. Yeah. Okay, so let's pay uh, 12. Yeah, let's pay 12. Well, we pay 15. We get three back to do Venus. And Venus has one more step after that, which we can do with our extractor balloons. In the next generation, in the last generation. So that is it, right? We have 16 more credits, but we, we're gonna do wool government there. Then we're gonna get enough to do. So we can just play this for two, I guess. Why not? Because we are gonna be able to use it in the next generation. 
yeah i guess that's it i guess that's it for this generation i think we're going to end we're going to go into the last generation but first we do production which is 52 plus 3 55 first time in the game that we are in the positives on money production <laughs> and so early what did i say 55 no yeah 55 then we get some steel and we get some titanium one plant probably not matter and these move over and we get oh they actually move over i forgot about those wow so that messes up my well, it's not too late. I realized it now. So we're going to have, because we're going to get 21. So we're going to have 25 heat, actually. Not 21. So that means with 25 heat, we can do three steps on our own. Oh. Yes, we could do three steps on our own, which would be two steps plus the contract. So then what do world government do? <laughs> we don't need the world government. That's weird, which means we paid for temperature. We, we paid 11 for that, which we didn't need to. But I can't go back now. Now I already did the production and everything. Okay, so world government. Uh, yeah, they're just going to have to do one here. Wow, that was, a, that, should, that was a mistake. I should have... Notice that I have the energy that would be going over. Ah, uh, okay. So now we do uh, fly home. We do make mistakes. If we make tactical mistakes, I don't mind too much. That's that's how it is. It's a complex game. But if we do rules mistakes that benefit me, then I, then I don't like it. Or if I if it's you know other way, I, I don't like when we make rules mistakes. Okay. So we did the whole thing there. Time for the parliament for the last time and so we lose the tr back up a little bit and global event we are going to get two for every science tag which is one two three four wow it's going to be a lot for science tags this turn yeah so we have four and we have one influence so that is five so we get 10 credits in total nice then we have the new policy which will be to draw cards which we'll actually do i think this is a perfect one to have in the last generation we have a lot of money we are already been you know completed everything we can draw cards try to find points so they will go they will keep the chairman they will go there i will go to the lobby not that it matters and the greens will become the next one which will never happen and then we do the cards and this will move and good thing this will never happen because <laughs> that's minus four but that will add one to the Calvinists. this doesn't really matter at this stage i guess but uh, it's fun to look at them immigration to venus the infrastructure of venus is under constant attack from assets everyone must contribute to the protection of the settlements corrosive rain lose two floaters or lose 10 credits wow draw a card oh that's terrible I'm happy that we never see that happening. So, last generation. Uh, this is a long playthrough. I hope you're having fun. I am having fun playing. So, we bump into this. I put it there to remind us that it's only 12 generations. And we're going to draw four cards. And now we are looking for points. Now it's all about the points. Martian survey can't play it. Max 4% oxygen. Our infrastructures doesn't get us any points. Aerosport tournament requires five floaters. We don't have that. Can't even get to it. And extreme cold fungus, max 10%. So, yeah, can't play any of these cards. <laughs> that's a bit sad. But that's how it goes. Not much we can do about it. Now we go into. Well, that's the, this actually matters here because we are going to send this guy just anywhere doesn't matter at all but now we have three artists active so we get six credits from that 
That's a good, it's a good corporation. It's a fun corporation because it makes us do stuff with the parliament. If we didn't have it, we might have, you know, done less. I don't know. Um, we are going to sell steel for seven credits. I'm going to have to do some like that. Take a 10 because it's getting crowded here in my, my board. Have a 90 <laughs> over 90 credits. Then we'll do this. We raise Venus. That's the last step on Venus, and that's a TR. And then we do. We're gonna do the caretaker contract. Pay eight teeth to get another TR. We're going to pay eight teeth to uh, raise temperature for the last time, which gets us up to fifty four. And Terra Mars is terraformed. All right. So then, let's see, this doesn't make sense to use even. Doesn't matter if we get that. But we are going to spend uh, three energy to fly to Pluto to draw a card. And maybe we should have built on Pluto instead of Triton. But, you know, we it's hard to know at the beginning. We didn't know. It was good to do that at the beginning anyway, and we didn't know back then if we would get a bunch of you know cards that needed titanium to build and so on. So power plant doesn't do anything for us. So we're gonna sell that for one. I think we're gonna play solar power, but uh, we can wait a little bit on that. Because now we have what is it 70? We have 93 credits. We need to you know terraform those into points. The way to do that, we start off with uh, 25 for a, well, we get three back, 25 for a city. We get three back, we also get the money production, that doesn't matter really. And the city goes to that spot over there, which gets us a plant. Okay. Then we want a greenery here and there. So two greeneries is 46, but we get six back, so it's 40. And we're gonna get a plant and we're gonna get a steel. It's actually not bad at this stage. We'll do a double here, double move, do a puzzling. I mean, it looks nice, right? Looks cool to have this. Uh, I have my hand in the way. Looks cool to have the the map like this. I do like that. I think after playing like this, it's gonna be weird if I go back and play <laughs> with the tiles. It's gonna look so bad. Okay, so that's done, and we're at thirty something credits. So, what's the best move? I guess it's just another greenery. Oh, I mean, look at the oxygen there. We did way too much, much oxygen on the world government. So, um, yeah, so I think it's just another greenery. I don't see anything else we can do here, really. So that is 20 bucks, because we do get some back, right? And that's a real, let's see, we, wait, that's interesting. We have five plants, we'll get one more. So if we get two plants now, then we're gonna be able to put out another greenery. Yeah, so we'll put it here. Get two plants and two credits. Because that means we can put out the greenery in the end game, right? Or in the conversion step. And you know that's points, and then we'll just put the other one somewhere here or something, and that's another point. Oh, two points actually. It's one for the city and one for the actual greenery. And then we have this card that we saved. So that's gonna cost us ten. We'll pay four with steel plus six just to get the point. Get one energy production. All right. So I'm happy for this. I think this can be a decent score. We'll see. We go to the production. And we're gonna get, we don't really need to take the money. We're gonna get 54, 58, 
take it because it's fun, but it doesn't matter. I mean, in a multiplayer game, it's tie-breaking. But in a solo game, it's just for fun. So we're not going to take the steel, titanium. We are going to take the plant, though. Yeah, and the rest doesn't matter. So we'll just use these eight. We're not doing solar phase, obviously, because we check for game end before we do world government and all that. And that's going to be another greenery. And it doesn't matter where it goes, really, as long as it's next to a city. But I think it looks nice if we surround that city over there. All right. So that is time for uh, counting up the score. So let's move these so out of the way. I hope we will get up here. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, might not. And let's start scoring. So I am just going to start from the from the normally you do the awards and all that, but in the solo game, I guess you can start wherever you want. Let's just move these out of the way and let's just start with the actual board. So greeneries, we have one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. So that is 61. Then this city is two points. That one is four points. That one is four points. That one is three points. So that's the board. And then we do take a look at all the cards. So we need the event cards as well. Put these together like this and i guess this guy will stay out on pluto because you know he never flies home so we did have some minus points in here i do remember that so let's see what we end on but we do have some positive points as well so we are going to get Okay, so here we have two. Strip mine shouldn't be here. That's two and minus two. So let's just put those away. And that is two and minus two. So we end up with two points from this. We end up on 76, which is not, not great, but it's not that bad either, I guess. I mean, there's a lot of small things we could have done better. There's a lot of things here and there that I. I sort of messed up in a strategic way it would have been better to do it in other ways but yeah i had fun playing it's good to be back in terraforming mars i haven't played the game at all in a few months and and so on so it's fun to play again it's fun to do another solo playthrough i hope you enjoyed it press the like button subscribe to the channel if you did if you watched all this way i, I assume you enjoyed it uh or you just fall, fell asleep or something i don't know so yeah i'll be back fairly soon i'm not going to promise a date but fairly soon with the third one because now i am you know into the mood i want to play more i want to try out more corporations it is fun and i like playing with these 3d tiles so thank you so much for watching have a great evening or morning whenever you're watching take care bye bye be like draco follow board games with niramas on facebook at bgw niramas